what's going on guys how's it going i hope you guys are having a fantastic day um i just want to go uh i just want to post this video for you guys tonight or tomorrow morning whatever because i personally think that not enough people get positive energy positive movement whatever it is so i'm sorry i had time if i cry i'm sorry i had time if i tear up look sad whatever because some of these events have happened in the past with me and somebody else or I know people that have gone through this, or some very similar. So, some of these stories might be true, and some of them I might just kind of make up a little bit because I want to tell the f real personal per issues. But, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Look, no matter what you go through, God's with you. I have a lot of people that are very, 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 very close to me. And one of those people is my girlfriend. Because no matter what you go through, God's with you. A lot of people don't realize that they're not perfect. Yes, you're not perfect. No one is, except God. However, you can be special in your own way. Everyone's perfect in their own way. Um... No matter what happens, you can get through it. There's a, there's a song called Eye of the Storm. And basically what that means is you are in the middle of the storm, which means you're the eye of the storm. And you have to fight through it to get to the other side, to see the light on the other side. And guess what? I believe in you. I believe that you can do that. Because honestly, without you, where would you be today? Why is the light so bright? Where would you be where would you be today if you're not hearing this video right now? If you are a person that has suicidal thoughts or self harm or just have deep depression, DM me. My Instagram is in the description below. Or you can always feel free to text us on our J and K vlogs because honestly guys, we're all here for you. My personal Instagram is j.chase2020. Feel free to go text me there. I will answer, and I will help you. I don't sleep at night for multiple reasons. One of those being, is being there for my friends and my GF. However, I'm also there for everybody that I don't know that needs help or wants to vent, wants to rant, wants to let things off the chest. You guys are all worth it. And no matter what you go through, you are worth it. I'm gonna play a song for you guys, and uh, it's actually a new song. Um, if it once once it pulls up, uh, or I might or I might screen record it. Am I? I'm probably gonna screen record it. I'm gonna screen record it and then uh, put it in the video. But there's a song that I want you guys to show. I want you guys to see, and uh, God makes room. God makes the room for you guys. He shakes up the ground with all of our surrender. He breaks on the walls of our religion. No matter what you go through, God's fighting with you. God's fighting no matter what. He makes room for you. We make room for Him. Shake up the ground with all my surrender, break down the walls with my mind, something like that, I don't know, I haven't listened to the song in a while, but whatever two songs that are going to be in this video, I want you guys to know that it means a lot, one of the songs are brand new, it's called Wake Up, and it's giving you a wake up call, hey, God's there, you're not alone, I promise, there's a lot of confusion between young people, teenagers, and all that, and the depression, and that's fine, it's okay to not be okay, however, it's okay to fake it till you make it, but do not let that be your saving. There's also a song called I Have, or, uh, Brown Eyes, Brown Hair. I'm also going to play that song because it's helped my girlfriend. It's helped a lot of other people. Guys, the reason why I'm adding songs to this video is because you can see what it really means to hear those songs. Because I bet half of you guys don't even realize or listen to those songs or I even heard of them. If you are not Christian, that's okay. But these two worship songs that are going to be in this video, I promise you, you will like or at least can relate to. 
Look up, pray. It will help you. I promise. Yes, it's 1 a.m. I'm making this video because I know so many people need it. And maybe, maybe, not, I may or may not have gotten a text five minutes ago saying I want to kill myself. I'm at the edge of a bridge right now. Yes, I got the text from somebody. And no, I'm not okay. But I'm faking it so I can make this video. Listen, God is everywhere. God's watching each and every one of us. How? I don't know. But he's in, he's God. I remember, I, I'm going to tell a story. I remember one time I am helping, uh, I was helping somebody. I was on Facebook. I was on Facebook one day and, uh, I was on Facebook and I saw I came across this post. It was a single mom. Her, she had three, two, three kids and she just needed to, somebody to give her a wake up call. Hey, come into our church, join us, whatever. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I was the first one to respond to it. I personally DM'd her on Messenger. I'm like, look, I don't know you. I'm young. But let me try to help you. She said, go for it. I'm like, what's your story? That's all I said. A few hours go by. I get sent three paragraphs explaining what's going on. Long story short, she got thrown out of her house, evicted. She, Her husband left her. And she's with kids. Fast forward a five, few days. Sunday comes around. I talk to her. Hey, look. My church live streams, I'm on the tech crew at my church. It's called the Old Box Christian Community Church. I know you're not even in the Illinois area. However, I want to help you best as possible. Would you be willing to watch some church services if I send you the link? She says, yes. So I do. And uh, she watches them. And a, a day later, I ask her, hey, how did it go? How was it? She's like, I loved it. Thank you so much. Me and my kids will watch the next one. So, I'm like, awesome. Here's the website. You guys can go on this every week. Watch watch what you want. They got five, four services per day. And, uh, it just teared me up. And she's like, I think, I thank you. And, uh, it teared me up because I never knew I could help somebody that I don't even fucking know. That, uh... I made them happy. And uh, to this day, they're in the house right now. They're in shelter. Better shelter. I never thought I could move somebody through Jesus like that. By myself. And yes, it worked. And also at the time, I was uh, talking to some missionaries to connect more with God. Uh, different church, but I don't know if that matters. What matters is as long as God hears you and you're trying. Um... And I kind of want to get, I kind of wanted to uh, get back in contact with those missionaries and see how they're doing because there's a lot of people out there that mean a lot to me, and uh, they've definitely moved me through Jesus and God, especially. Um, and anyway, a few weeks later, I'm like, hi, to this one stranger I don't even know at the church. She's like. Remember me? You uh, helped me and sent me the services. And I'm like, I started breaking down crying. I'm like, you flew all the way out here just to say hi and connect with God. That is amazing. And she even thought about moving to closer to Illinois. Not to go to church directly, that church directly, but she wanted to personally thank me. And oh my gosh, in front of the whole church, it was packed that service. It moved me, and it definitely made an impact on me. Your glory goes from glory to glory to glory. God moves you guys. I promise. So, as this next song starts to play, I want you guys to think about how you can make room for God, and He can make room for you. As, as, as you guys listen to this song, I want you to know, I will make room for you. Shake up the ground with all my surrender. Break down the walls with all my surrender. Shake up the ground with all my religion. Break, something like that. I don't know. It's in the song. But shake up, you can shake up the ground. Make room. 
Because between you and God, God's the one number one person to talk to. I'm going to let this song play, and then I'll be back with you guys. Tell me what you thought. I'll tell you what I thought. Enjoy.
awesome. Song's over. What did you think? A lot of flashbacks went through my mind. A lot of negative things went through my mind. And things that I still am upset about, mad at myself about, crying about from four or five years ago. And my girlfriend doesn't even know. But she will soon. Look. It's okay. Flashbacks are going to happen. Past is going to come back. Or whatever you have to get through your mind through that song. No matter what you go through, God's with you guys. And I promise you, He is. The second song, you know, it really goes a little bit deep. And, uh, it's called Wake Up. And I think you guys will like it. It's just the audio. It's just on Spotify. But just listen to the lyrics and let me know what you guys think. This is a new song that just got released about two weeks ago. I play this song over and over again. At nighttime, I play these worship songs on full blast in my truck. Because I feel closer to God while I'm driving down a dark road. Or whatever. When I can actually open the windows, let the songs out the window, blast it, and talk to God that way. There's multiple ways you guys can talk to God. It doesn't have to be just in your room, locked up, all that. There's all sorts of ways. <laughs> I promise. If you have not found the way yet... You will. It's there, waiting for you. I also have a whole playlist of songs that the church made, specifically, if you guys want the whole playlist to listen to. I love my church. There's many other churches as well, but this main church, I love this main church. It's amazing. Amazing. So as this next song plays, let me know what you guys think. If you guys need help, remember, my Instagram is j.chase2020. Feel free to DM me. Whatever you guys need, I'm here. I want the second song play. Let me know what you think. I'll be right back.
Awesome. You guys made it. Second song is done. Now, let me tell you this. If I told you the gods the gods here for you, would you believe me? Maybe you still don't. But that's okay. A lot of people that I know go through hard times. Suicidal thoughts. Self harm. Whatever it is. And I can promise you that you're not alone. You're not alone. My girlfriend has shared so many personal things with me. And there's one thing I keep telling her. You are worth it. You are enough. If you don't think you're enough, knock that out of your head. Because you are enough. You are enough. A lot of us think overthink a little too much, and that's okay. We're all gonna overthink sometimes. But if you overthink too much, just relax. You're fine, I promise. We're all gonna overthink a lot. And that's fine. She says she she thinks she a lot of people say this, not just her. She's she's like, I'm not good enough. I'm tired of not being heard of. I'm not I'm tired of not being listened to. I'm tired of not being enough. I told her straight up with tears in my eyes while I was crying, you are enough. You are worth it. You are strong. You are worthy. You are more than enough. She broke down crying. And so did many other people that I told that too. When we're struggling really hard, it feels like and seems like God's not there. If you have faith, he will be there. Faith is number one. Faith is going to be the answer. Because honestly, without God, and if you don't have faith, it may not work. Miracles happen too. There's a true, there's a movie called Miracles from Heaven. Also, some creator that made Heaven's for real. And this little girl had some kind of disease or stomach flu or whatever. And long story short, she fell down a 50 foot tree, I think, or 100 foot tree. Super hollow. Hit her head real hard. Was unconscious for hours. Came back out. Was totally fine. Normal again. That's a miracle. <laughs> There's so many other miracles that happened in my life. I'm not going to share them because they're personal and I don't have permission to share them. And the ones that I told about my girlfriend are just simple that everyone goes through. So they're not really personal. But there are so many personal things that we all hide. There's personal things that I'm hiding. And, but I think number one that we all think of is stress. Not being good enough. Not being hurt enough. I'm telling you right now, you are. Give me a favor. Look up. God's with you. God's next to you. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be silent for about two minutes. I want you to just bow your head, or put your head down, close your eyes, and just get things off your mind. Doesn't have to be out loud. Doesn't have to be quiet. But just pray right now. I'll do it with you. Just total silence. Just pray. Let's do it.
Look. God's with you. I want you to know that. I'm only doing this video because a lot of people need to hear it. If you are suicidal, listen up. There's so many songs you guys can listen to that will help you. I have the storm. Brown eyes, brown hair. It's okay. One more light. And I'm gonna explain one more light. One more light is a song by Anthem Lights. Or, or uh, sorry, Lincoln Park. It's a true story. Uh, I saw this on YouTube. A, a woman was on her way to work. And she took a certain freeway she never takes. She only did it because the other one was backed up. That was the only way, the quickest way to work. On her way, she saw a man on the ledge of a bridge. She didn't think anything of it at first, and then she turned around. Was like, and the reason why she did is because she's like, Hey, I've been there. I know what he's going through. But it's worth a chance to talk to him instead of letting him die. And a few moments later, he gets closer to the edge, and so does she. She's like, if you go, I go. I'm dying with you. I might only go alone. And she shared uh, some lyrics from a song called One More Light. Who cares if... it's The lyrics are, who cares if One More Light goes out? Well, I do. Because the stars are shining, or flickering. It's, frick, it's flickering. It's trying to explain that It's trying to explain that if someone tries to attempt suicide, or has, it's flickering because they're still there in heaven. They're not totally gone. I also want you guys to know, if you've lost someone recently, because I just mentioned that, I'm so sorry for your loss. But God's with you. Fight through it. I believe in each and every one of you guys. I promise. Anyway, I have to get going. Because it's 2 a.m. and I have to go drive somewhere that is very interesting. But I have to go. So, do me a favor. If you if this video helped you, at least the songs or whatever, let me know. There's stories in the future that I will explain as well. And there's also a YouTube channel that me and my girlfriend are going to start soon. We also have a TikTok and we also have an Instagram. If you need help, any any support or personal help, my Instagram is j.chase2020 and our Instagram is j and, j and k vlogs2021. Go follow that. Go DM us. We're here to help you. And I am personally here to help you. I'm up all night, most of the time, helping my friends, family, loved ones through hard times. Or if they just need someone to talk to. Or just can't sleep. Do me a favor. Go to that person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I hope this video helps you. And, uh, yeah. I love everyone. I love everyone of you guys. Stay strong. You are worth it. See you guys.